Uh, well, Dale, I wanted to ask you a personal question in terms of uh, you being a technologist and you've evolved over these years. So how do you actually go ahead and upgrade yourself, you know, from a tech perspective? Because the landscape differs from every region. How do you manage to do that? It's a, it's a great question. Um, I interestingly had a similar question just a couple of days back in a different uh, place I was at. And uh, I think the, uh, a couple of things. Um, first is uh, maybe I've just been lucky enough to have grown up uh, with this um, would say love for learning. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's not learning from a more traditional sense where it focused on say grades, but learning from a curiosity sense. Sure. Saying I've always been curious about trying to read about stuff that is very random. Uh, and that also is how I entered into trading where it came in from uh, investment focus, but eventually ended up looking at saying, is there any fun in derivative trading and mm -hmm. went into that direction. So some of it is just my natural sense in being curious which has allowed me to constantly read up on things that are emerging. So whenever I read up, hear of something, if I don't know about it, I try to make some time to read about it and then follow the threads and just keep reading until I feel I know enough about some a topic. So the first thing is really about saying, you know, like, can we be curious? Can we always be learning where we just keep reading about things we don't know? But the second issue, the challenge of that approach is that there are too many things you can read. And then you have the other problem where people just try to read about every single topic and it's just not possible to become a master of all. Right. So what I have tried to do is actually try to balance out my learning needs with what my actually uh, would say best possible outcomes are. Mm -hmm. For example, at this level, at this point, I could still go and learn about what it is to code in a new language. And so I try to practice and you know, improve my coding skills. Right? That's language? say uh, Scala or Go or some of the new languages. Okay. Uh, but the question is, is that going to be as productive and as value added to me versus maybe learning about new architectures and new scale related challenges, which is probably where I'll spend more of my time. So that's an example where I then pick the topic that I want to learn basis what gives me most value. Right. So I think learning by itself, unconstrained learning is also bad because you'll end up trying to gather too many books in your house or in your Kindle uh, bookshelf. Uh, but learning with a filter of what's relevant to your current needs is probably one way to focus and get some uh, relevant